place your hands on a wall for support and take a step back with the affected foot. It is important that the heel of the affected foot remains on the ground throughout this stretch. Additionally, try to keep the toes of both feet pointing straight towards the wall. Now begin to bend the knee with your front leg whilst moving your chest towards the wall until you feel a stretch in the back of your calf muscle. Hold for 20 seconds and repeat three times with a small period of rest between stretches. The second part of this exercise is aimed at stretching the soleus muscle, a deeper muscle in the lower part of the leg. Adopt the same starting position as you did for the previous exercise. Slide the affected foot towards the front as demonstrated. This time when bending the front knee, also bend the knee at the back until you feel a stretch deeper in the calf muscle. Hold this for 20 seconds and repeat three times. As before, be sure to keep your heels in contact with the ground at all times during this stretch. Pilates mat exercise known as the knee hug. This is a stretching exercise and unlike many other exercises, it doesn't require endurance. It's designed to release tight muscles around your hips and lower back, as well as open up the lumbar spine and help improve flexibility. This is a great stretch to do after any workout. Although this is a stretching exercise, you should never stretch to the point of pain. To begin, you should lie on an exercise mat with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor and arms by your sides. From this position, slowly bring one knee at a time towards the chest. Then place your hands just below your knees and gently squeeze them into the chest. Take a couple of breaths in this stretch. Be sure to keep your head down, neck long and shoulders relaxed throughout. So there you have a very quick demonstration of the knee hug exercise. Why not check out one of our other individual exercise guides? Seated Side Stretch Pose Come onto your sit bones, straighten the legs into a seated position. Lengthen the spine. We're going to bend the left knee this time and take a twist by taking the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Lengthen up by lifting the left arm and reaching towards the right toes. Try not to fold forward and collapse the chest, but keep the spine long as you open and lengthen the whole side. A few more breaths, deep, and exhale, unwind, straighten the legs again, and back to sitting. Former. Stand erect. Raise your right arm, bend your elbow, 
and reach down across your back as far as possible to test the right shoulder. Extend your left arm down and behind your back, bend your elbow up across your back, and try to reach or cross your fingers over those of your right hand as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. To test the left shoulder, repeat the same procedure with the left hand over the left shoulder. For the partner, observe whether the fingers touched or overlap each other. If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands. Record the distance in centimeter. Scoring. Record the gap overlap to the nearest 0.1 centimeter.